Hi, this is Ron Edwards, Master Sommelier and Director of Wine Education for Winebow Fine Wine and Spirits. It's a beautiful warm day here in Richmond and it's making me think about rosé, which is awesome because that's what we're tasting today. We're going to taste a wine from Mirabeau. They are a wine producer in Provence and this particular bottling is their Côte de Provence Appalachian bottling called Pure. They look at this as a pure example, a, a true like Wow, getting Provence in the glass kind of example, and I'm excited to taste it. This is a 2022 bottling. This is a very typical Provençal multi-grape blend. It starts with 58% Grenache, and then it's 19% Syrah, 16% Sanso, 3% Morved, 3% Carignan, and 1% Roll, which is Vermentino in Italy. Let's find out what we have because I'm looking at it in the glass and it's beautiful and it's pale and it's inviting. Even in its youth, which is normally sort of popping with fruit, it still has a subtlety about it and I really like that. It does start with that uh, banana meat strawberry thing, which is very typical for young rosé, but then it it becomes more subtle and there's, you know, this raspberry note and there's uh, a floral note i would put it in the neighborhood of, of rose mixed with violet then it has this um sort of dusty rocky kind of aroma profile and then at the very end there's that little lift that you would expect out of this blend of sort of peppery like white pepper um and then you're ready to go back and smell some more so um if that's what we're expecting to taste i'm excited let's do that I really love the pop of bright, fresh, just ripe enough strawberry that dominates at the beginning. Then weaves in a little bit of that banana from the youthfulness of the wine. Then there's this bright cherry and then actually the fruit and the texture of the wine sort of turns prickly across the palate, like almost like it's effervescent, but it's not. It's just the, the brightness of the acidity and the, the tartness of the red fruits that like, like biting into a fresh raspberry. Um, the tart cherries there at the end and then that white pepper tingle is uh, close to the end of the wine and then there's that wonderful release that is so typical of Provençal Rosé where there's that little bit of tannin left in the wine that, that cuts through the fruit and gets you ready for another sip. This is a really delicious and, and pure example of what Provençal Rosé should be. I think you should go out and find a bottle of Mirabeau Pure 2022 from Côte de Provence.